Hello everybody, welcome to another Python Mathematics and Finance Indicators tutorial video. In this video we're going to be talking about Elder Force Index and in the next couple videos we'll be talking about it. So what is the Elder Force Index? The idea of it is to measure directional intensity. It's going to oscillate above and below the zero line and basically the idea of it is to consider changes in price and volume. Obviously for the intensity part that's where you know volume is coming in. So in the price change times you know how much volume has come through that gives you directional intensity. The calculation of EFI uh, is going to be pretty close to what I just said. It's going to be the current close minus the previous close. So what's the actual price difference here times the volume? That's it. Um, then you're going to have like generally an EMA applied to that line. So you know usually like a 14 period EMA is used, but you can use anything you want. You could use a two period EMA or even like a one period EMA. You want to be crazy about it. So uh, anyway, so that's the Elder Force Index. Now, what I'd like to do is show you guys an example. So let me bring up our charting application here. So uh, let's plot up Apple, for example. And so here's an Elder Force Index for Apple. As you can see, it is um, pretty closely mimicking volume. Like right, you had a huge spike in volume, so notably it goes like way down, and it comes back up again. Another huge spike in volume, it goes down again. And here there's a spike in volume and a spike in the Elder Force Index, and so on, and then it goes down again. So obviously you can see that. So this is the 14. So what if we like lowered that to like maybe more like a 15, or I mean a 5 for Apple? So let's, let me uh, do that real quick. So now I lowered it to a 5 for Apple. So let's bring up Apple again with now 5. And so now you can see it's a lot more of a reactive uh, line. Uh, so let me pull it over here. And now like if we zoomed in to like a specific area, uh, we could look at this one specifically. Uh, we can see how it's just very, very reactive, um, much more so than the other one, which was pretty late. Uh, we can zoom into like maybe this spot as well. Right, so it's really, it's, it's pretty much right on like here and stuff because there's very little change here. So what's nice about it is when it's above the zero mark, right, that's measuring the intensity of rising. So what happens is when it starts, you know, slowing in its rise, you'll see that the EFI many times is actually going to start its decline prior to the price starting its decline. So that's kind of where it can become um, very useful. At the same time, you can also plot possibly, although this says EFI 14, sorry, I forgot to change the label for it. Uh, this is indeed in EFI uh, 5. Um, but anyway, yeah, you can use different different moving averages, right? Uh, and and you can get kind of a sing signal line going on. It's a single line. Anyway, um, so that's your EFI. Uh, so in the next video, what we're going to be doing is actually programming the EFI into Python. And then in the next video, we'll actually chart it up in a charting application like this. Um, actually, it's this identical charting application. So uh, anyway, if that sounds interesting to you guys, stay tuned to the next video. As always, Thanks for watching.